Welcome back to Boys and Ghouls Film Review, folks. I'm your host, Sarah Stevenson, and this is my co-host, Mike Stevenson. Hi, guys. And tonight we'll be reviewing um, a movie that came out last year titled Old. That's a very short title. Three letters. Yeah. Old, Old. yeah, 2021. It's an American thriller film. Yeah. We do, again, we don't just do sci-fi and horror and fantasy. We we try to bring some other interesting tidbits in for reviewing. Yeah, yeah Mike, and before we were doing our podcast just a while ago, we were discussing whether it, we should put it down as a thriller sci-fi. Or oh, because it, it's a bit of sci-fi thrown in and... But, and yeah, yeah, it's borderline, and so mm. yeah, it's yeah, leave it up to your own discretion, folks. Again, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> you've got to admit, Mike, this movie it makes me think of the Twilight Zone or Tales from uh, of the Crypt yeah, or something sort of like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 they yeah, deal yeah. with a supernatural element. Yeah, there's, there's an element in there. So yeah, is it supernatural? Is it sci-fi? Or just a straight thriller film? So, yeah. Anyway, well, that's what I think. It it feels like that, anyway. you know. And I explained mystery mm. uh, surrounding the beach. These anyway. people, these characters okay, are on. Well, that's yours. We I know. About them. And one reason why we want to do this, it's a new film, obviously. Uh, where someone was saying we don't do enough new films, so we're trying to bring a few more newbies in there. Uh, yeah. And what uh, appeals to me is it was produced, directed, screenplayed by the same guy. Mm. Uh, uh, he's been around doing some other things as well, but when I see somebody who's a multitasker, uh, I really get inspired. Yeah, mm. see the guy, the what he, the director who create who did the film, the book gave him gave him a few ideas oh. of doing this <clears throat> because he had a few anxieties because his fam his parents are going through. Um, he's just a little fearful of their. Of them dying and aging, and I guess that's what we all feel sometimes. We fear death well, and yeah. aging. Can we actually sort that and into the right? When part you of think, the... of, yeah, next to um, earthquakes <laughs> and twists and rain tsunamis, floods and tsunamis, yeah. um, aging Volcanic can eruptions. be a little bit scary to some people. When you think about it, yeah, yeah. how long? Your own toenail. How long do we have to live for? Will we enjoy life to the fullest? Exactly. That's the biggest mystery. No. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Produced by uh, Knight uh, Shyamalan, I think is the right pronunciation. S H Y A M A L A N. I'll just call him Knight for all the other bits, but uh-huh. I don't want to embarrass him or annoy him by getting his name wrong. Nope. Uh, Mark Beanstock and Ashwin Rajan were also yeah. co producers. Yeah, now, directed by mm. Mr. Knight, yeah. Okay, and he also wrote the screenplay, and he also cameoed in there as uh, a bit part as a um, a bus driver on the at this at this resort, and also um, a like a scientist type guy monitoring our people on a beach. So he had cameras and everything set up, and computers and whatever. Interesting thing, guys. Mm. This is probably his um, first um, film to be shot using a. 35 millimeter film stock also, since since the um, the movie he did the last Airbender that was in 2010. But wait a minute, and also it's the first I think one of the first movies done outside of his hometown. Hmm. He took the people on sort of a location shoot. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, and he filmed it. Let me see. Let me see. He filmed it outside his um, the greater Philadelphia since. His first film project, which uh. was done in 1992, called Praying with, An- with Anger. How it, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I just said that. He did most of his films in and around Philadelphia. Yeah, but it's an interesting okay. thing, isn't it? That this is a f- one of his first times he's been out of his area to do filming. Yeah, yeah. anyway, right. I, just, I heard this movie came, was... Was it mainstreamed in the theatres, I think it was? Yes, it was. That's If you let me actually get on and say what I normally tell people, Shh, it would be really, really nice. Well, okay. while I thought uh, it was going to be streamed on a, a Netflix or... Sh- maybe not Shudder, obviously, because Shudder's more to do with horror and and a bit of s- creepy stuff. Right. Or, now, can I say... Now, yeah, well, it was based on a book mm-hmm. by a French language... Uh, in, uh, on a French language... Swiss graphic novel by novel by the name of Sandcastle by Pierre Oscar Levy and Frederick Peters. Uh, now, budget was eighteen million dollars. A box office to about ninety million. 
Now, I can't say too much more than that because that's mm. pretty damn good. Um, mm. uh, I got it was impressive, guys. Mm, pretty damn good. I can't complain. Um, it was Actually, it was quite interesting. Oh, I was going to talk about it later, but he uh, approached Universal Studios and they like original ideas. so they're Oh, like, great. There's some sanity in the some film sanity industry. Out there. And original idea instead of let's churn out the same theme, let's rewrite a script and do something and dust them off and bring Frankenstein back out of the cupboard and do another movie. Um, yeah, no, finally no, some sanity like, yeah, in this world. Some original movies, which is great, yeah. Um, yeah, and the filming was taking place in the Dominican Republic and it was taking place over three months during the COVID-19 pandemic. And he, 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 put, he put the people in there several weeks before mm-hmm. so they can uh, social distance and be tested, make sure they didn't have any viruses. And then they proceeded with the uh, shooting. Yeah, I, ah. I did hear about that. And I think he was, yeah. but when he was doing the uh, making sure they check far, the, all the staff and crew are thoroughly vac- you know, looked yeah. after, well, yeah. um, they didn't have any too many cases on their set. So luckily yeah, they, they got through bring, it all they right. They didn't bring it in, there wasn't too much there. So, so luckily got, yeah. they got through it all right. Yeah. So they got the filming yeah. done and, and they were able to set about move forward and distribute it. I'm not going to do too much of the cast. I'll just mention their names a bit and I will touch a little bit on them because there's multiple roles of some of the people. Ooh, of they like three or four pe- three people playing... Uh, some children roles, of course, are raging and stuff. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to touch over it lightly. Now, mm-hmm. a guy, okay, one of the main actors, Gail Garcia Bernal. He plays Guy Kappa. Mm-hmm. He's uh, married to a nice lady by the name of uh, Prisha Kappa, and that's played by uh, Vicky Creeps, 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 I think. Um, and she she has a stomach tumor, which is benign at this point when they come to the uh, Island Resort, whatever it is. Yep. Um, now, the thing is that they're heading for a divorce. They brought the kids here on a holiday. Yeah, it's their last way yeah. of being yeah. reunited as a yeah. family for so, a bit. Now, the two kids, I'll mention them in a moment. Uh, now, Rufus Sewell, he plays... I, I was wondering what he was. He's, he's, he's cracking up a little bit. He was a, a schizophrenic surgeon. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, but it begins to surface really yeah, yeah, slowly. Yeah, because yeah, well, I won't say terms because it'll it'll, it'll uh, yeah, it's a take away from what Sarah's going to tell you in a minute. Mm. Um, now, Alex Wolf and Emin Elliot play Trent Kappa, Guy and, and Prisha's son Maddox, uh, and Maddox's young brother, his sister. Now he's got two kids playing, and actually three, because he's aging. He's playing a six-year-old, a twelve-year-old, an adult, or something. Well, yeah, whatever. He keeps growing up, so yeah, they have yeah. to have several people. Now uh, he has a girl playing his sister, uh, Thomason McKenzie and Embeth Davids. Davids. Uh, so he plays Maddox, Cabot, his sister, and Guy and Press's uh, daughter, and mm. then, and they had another person playing her when she was eleven years old. For, for a brief bit, um, Abby Lee plays Crystal, uh, a guy called Char. Uh, uh, she got hypocalcemia. She's a very beautiful lady, but she's got bone disease, and it really develops during the course of the movie. Won't go on with too much. Hmm. Nikki Ahmed uh, Amuka, oh, Amuka yeah. Bird. She plays a lady who's epileptic. Now, all these people had, most, well, half the people at least had medical conditions. That yeah. was the reason why they aren't. They well, are not either chem, uh, are in, incurable. Yeah, well, no, 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 they don't want to say incur, incurable, but things which aren't going to necessarily go away in a hurry. No. Uh, Ken Lung is um, her husband. Uh, Eliza Scanian uh, plays Kara, their daughter. She's a nice little one. Uh, and uh, Aaron Pierre, a mid-size, said, plays a rapper guy who was actually at this beach area when they first got yeah, here. Yeah, he's named after a car named Sedan. A mid-size Sedan. Oh, come on, he could have made a better name up. Um, <laughs> there were different other, a couple of other people there, but like I said, uh, Mr. Knight uh, Shyamalan, uh, Shyam- uh, oh, mm. whatever his name is, whatever. Uh, he plays uh, the resort. Coach driver type guy plus this um, type of employee yeah. who's uh, monitoring them during their ordeals on this beach. Now, can't say too much more about giving the story away. So, 
That's Sarah's bit. If yeah. you want to take it away, grizzly. I read somewhere that Clint mm. Eastwood's um, daughter, she um, she played one of the owners of the re- oh, at, at the resort. She was the one that wore this beautiful blue oh, the stylish blonde, dress. Oh, the pretty face. Yeah, she oh, was yeah. Um, Clint Eastwood's daughter, I, I read. She has the Eastwood name, and I figured, oh, hmm, oh. she must be there Eastwood. There is now the resort manager, Francesca Eastwood. There it is. Yeah. Yes. Well, there you go. Now you know. Clint's little girl, or granddaughter, or something. Or granddaughter, granddaughter, I think it was. Yeah, big granddaughter. He's a bit old now. He's yeah. over the hill. Sorry, Clint. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, so do you want me to get stuck into the story? Mm. Okay. Some family members arrive at this uh, resort, and they they all have, well, the mother has a severe, what was the... She's sweet? got a tumour in her abdomen. Yeah. It's supposed to be benign. It's supposed to be benign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she found out about this resort through um, through an ad she got on the from emails, I well, think it was. See, she, she was getting medication from her local chemist. <laughs> and obviously they must have some deal with the chemist. And they have they put their email details through there and they get put in a database there. And they, so they'll send some junk mail through to her Tell email me. address or her telephone saying, hey... Cheap holiday here at this resort or whatever. Yeah, great yeah. for the for the mind and the body. Yada and they yada thought, yada. Well, we might go there and um, uh, ha- have a couple of days away with the kiddies. Yeah, so they arrived there. It's like looking at Fantasy Island without the fantasy. Uh, fantasy, mm-hmm. anyway. And no tattoo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Aha. Yeah, no. Well, actually, that little boy. Well, he's not like tattoo. He be's a nice kid who he could have done. He's the right size. Yeah. Her, her, her yeah. Be, um, yeah. yeah. He he befriends Trent and on at the resort, and the boys run up and down the beach, asking everyone's occupation and their names, mm-hmm. as in a funny way. One of them was an actual policeman. I like to think he was there for a particular reason. No, he reason. wasn't. He's on holiday. He um, just no, he was on holiday. Yeah, I suppose. He's on holiday. Yeah. But when mm. he came back later on in the movie, he gave him all the information and he texted it through, okay? Leave I just, it alone. I just <laughs> feel like that he, I mean, there's an explanation of why he was there. Not, I mean, my own theory. That I believe that he was there for his own reasons, not just to be on a holiday. Anyway, back to the story. The, the kid's parents, Guy and, what's his name, Chris? What's his Prisa. wife? Prison. Prissa. Prissa. They're going through marital problems and they're thinking of splitting because she had an aff- affair. She had an affair with some joke. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he um, suspects it, but he didn't bother b- reaching it because they have too many problems. No point in bringing up something worse <sighs> to drown the whole, to drown the whole I'll, problem. I'll drown you in a minute. We th- then <laughs> the next day, um, they're approached by the owner of the the owner to the resort who suggests they go to a secluded beach area that's only known to some people on the island and on and to the hotel and they think this will be a good place for the for them to spend time together put some special people and take them down there and so you can chill out in a nice location yeah Mm. so the family the cappers they head down there along with another family the uh, the doctor um, Charlie and his wife, who the model, who's a very skinny model, as I said, um, and very attractive, and mm-hmm. their daughter K- Karen, Karen, what's Karen, it? Karen. 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 yeah. So they head down there in Cara, a Cara, in a Cara. small yeah. mini bus, I think it is. It's Cara. Yeah, Cara. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they head into yeah. in, inside a mini bus, I think, yeah. Yeah, and whatever. they head to a um, a gate that says. Um, um, no entry or whatever. Not staff only or nature reserve or something like that. Yeah. So they open the gate and the guide um, f- uh, parks the car and s- explains where they should go. Meaning because he wasn't going to follow down follow with the them. follow path down there and then you see a, 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 a cutting through the rocks. Just walk through there and it takes you out to the beach. And he says, yeah. oh, I'll be back here at five o'clock or you can to take you me. back. I'll come back earlier. Yeah, so the families mm. go down there. It feels strange like some. Some, like the stepping inside a, a time warp type environment. It's but not, they don't notice it at first it's because. Not like Jurassic Park. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, they head down to the beach. The kids start yeah. having a little fun and all that stuff. And as they. Whippy! 
Uh, yeah, two. Let me see. Um, two more people also arrive to. Oh, oh, oh! I should mention Sudan. Sudan, who was he arrived rapper, here um is earlier. Oh, earlier, and he's been sitting on the beach while his girlfriend was paddling in the water. She stripped off and went for a paddle. She certainly did. And he's still sta- sitting there while the new members of the of. The, of the um, people from the hotel arrived to settle in. And, of course, they give a very big lunch for the children. That's yeah, quite they, a lot. They gave them a really, really ridiculous amount of food to take there uh, because the, well, during their stay there, the children get very ravenous and need to eat a lot more than normal. Yeah, it's it's uh, ridiculous, well, but it's that's well, how it happened. Well, I'll explain it later as the story unfolds. Yeah. yeah. So the kids run around uh, and they meet Sedan, who's a as a is a, a bit of a music a rapper. a rapper, and he's a nice guy, but he's rowed by his girlfriend. And while the kids were in the water, they noticed that there's no fish. Oh, there's no fish in the water. Yeah. There you go, pollution. No, a polluted beach, all the fish died. Yeah, no, 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 and no, then no, no. Um, t- Trent, I mean, Trent, is that Trent? Or, I mean, Who? And the young little boy, T. <sighs> Trent, uh, yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, um, he right. notices... Well, why don't you write your stuff down and see how you writing, read it? I am writing, I already you got... You can't read your own handwriting? Anyway, the boy notices a, a dead body in the water, and we realise it's Dan's girlfriend, who so somehow has died, and we can't figure out why. And the schizophrenic doctor that they're with yeah. thinks yeah. that Sedan killed his girlfriend. Yeah, but uh-huh. there's no marks on the body, nothing to indicate... Yeah, not much um, for the bloody doctor, is he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and anyway, um, the kids, they kind of disappear for a bit in some scenes, where they start... Um, we start... We don't see them clearly at first. We see behind them and maybe Over off the, the shoulder. shoulder and stuff, and but, yeah, yeah. but we hear their voices are starting to change a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hinting that they're no longer speaking like um little, like little kiddies. Like the look the oldest, youngest kid is the um is the little girl and the um little boy and now they're speaking like his voice is cracked a bit, and he sounds like he's he's act, he's speaking like an eleven year old. They even approach one of the um, adults while they're talking to them, and they try to guess their ages. And they said, "Oh, you must be eleven to the little boy." And he says, "No, I'm seven. You're six. I'm, oh yeah, I'm six. Yeah, yeah, we, but in a couple matter of half an hour or so, he grown, he yeah. aged." Yeah, the the mother approaches um, the kids and and the um, two other new and people and said, uh, "Have you seen my children?" And sh- they said, "Mom, this we're here." Okay. We're and then, oops, meaning I have grown. Yes, <laughs> she also noticed before this that um, her son says that his swimmers were getting a little tight on yeah. him, and she started noticing on his waist that they do. Um, he he said. Why don't you adjust the um, string on your and pants? You, but the, as you realised, they were several sizes too small. Yeah, hint, hint. Mm. Mm. So she had a spare pair of... Yeah, she told the kids to um, find some new swimmers and yeah, wear yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. They're confused and they don't understand what's going on and all that stuff. And another side effect is that one, the doctor, the, the Charles, he tries to... Um, Slash cut into the um, sedan, and somehow he ends up healing straight away. Hmm. Hey, yeah, who needs a band aid? <laughs> <laughs> Quite right. So, anyway, people are confused. They even try to head back the way they came, and somehow they keep now, they keep drop they keep on blacking out. They keep blacking out, and they end up back on the beach. Yeah, who keeps putting them back? I mean, I don't explain. No, it doesn't, it's not explained to the movie. Yeah, because then they, they end up back on the beach. Somehow or other. Yeah. yeah. It has something to do with the rocky cliffs, I yeah. think. They can come into the beach area, but they can't get out. Yeah, it's practically <laughs> like a fortress. <laughs> like A natural uh, fortress. Nature won't let you out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so they're pretty much stuck there until... And, until. Well, until they decide yeah. what to do. Until. Mm-hmm. Until the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Whatever. Mm. Yeah, they try to figure out what's going on, and they start noticing... St- um, s- s- little by little, people, the, each one of them starts developing something. Like the doctor, he starts mumbling about movies and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like his brain's going a little bit. We don't know whether it's part, partly schizophrenia or other things, but he's supposed to be p- schizophrenic. 
So yeah. his brain's starting to go a little bit. Mm. Yeah. And the um, um, guy's wife, who has that little thing in her, that, her that, waist, uh, that tumor is starting to, to grow. grow. At, an, at a rapid rate. And yeah. it, it was supposed to be benign, little thingy. Yeah. And they said, oh, they realised, oh, it's getting about the size of a golf ball. By the time they took it out, Several minutes or half yeah. an hour later, it was the size of a melon. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah they had a difficult time trying to cut into it to get the cyst healing. out every time. So um, they used their hands the as clamps open. to open up her little her hip so they can get the thing out. Yeah, the, yeah about the size of a uh, what you, a cantaloupe. Was that yeah, in America? by the yeah, time yeah, they yeah, got yeah, it yeah. out, it was the size yeah. of a cantaloupe, and the skin closes straight in straight away. No stitches. Now that's a good surgery. And isn't she it? says yeah. that she's all better and feeling. Great. Much great. Yeah, the tumor is gone. Meanwhile, while this is happening, both Trent and his and Karen are sitting on inside a tent they made using the towels, and talking, in, talking, lying, lying and, talking. and and they and we don't know what happens, but we suspect something did. I know what they did. <laughs> yeah, and then they came. At, they appro- They approached their parents, and we see Karen has her. Her stomach grown. She's about eight months pregnant. Yeah, even the doc, the nurse, the d- nurse that was with them, a male nurse, I should say, says that I don't know much about about you guys, but she looks like she's about seven or at least eight months pregnant. Yeah, she's getting ready to drop. You know, okay. Yeah, yeah. So they live the baby a few minutes later. Yeah, and of course, not seeing as they're these kids are they're developing their metabolism like really, really quick, and their f- eating ability and all that stuff. Their brains are still children. children. Yeah. They're still acting like six, six or seven, seven year olds, yeah, yeah. and they don't have the knowledge of what what's to expect. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, what's yeah, what to expect? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, the, you shouldn't rush into parenthood. Yeah, so mm. as she's getting um, going into labor, the parents try to sell the kids down, tell them, and even Trent says, "How can this be possible? Because I only let, uh, um, I, I thought you have to wait until nine or ten times to do this sort of thing." He's speaking like a child, obviously, yeah. but but it does it's, take its hey, time. It's on the volume of the shot that counts. Yeah, even <laughs> his even his father guy explains that you can even try. Even the first time, you might likely get pregnant. Well, see, there's, there's a big chance of yeah, that. Yeah, like never. She ha- might be very fertile because the aging process too. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. some yeah. of the adults help her go for the labour, and as we're, um, ro- as the camera rolls around the group, we watch her get pregnant, and the next minute we see Trent uh, pleased that he's seen her, you know, given a birth. But then the next minute we find <laughs> out that the baby. Um, died died of um, what did they call it? Uh, malnutrition and stuff. It, 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 it was aging at a rapid rate too. It was it needed food and they couldn't get food to it fast enough. And yeah. it just died. Yeah, it died yeah. in say seconds or minutes. Oh, a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah. Done. Finished. Yeah. And, and go on. Everyone's upset. No. Yeah, well, and uh, yeah, including Karen. They couldn't explain it. Yeah, uh, everyone's freaking out and. The one the nurse just suggests that he go swim around the rocks and try and swim out to the ocean in order to get help. Yeah, the male nurse says, yeah. Mm. "Yeah, he tells his wife to that to stay with the rest to with the with Kappa's family because he doesn't um, trust the do, the male do, the the doctor yeah, very he, much. Be, child, well, I, I wouldn't trust him either. And I I would agree with them. So so he swims out, and while this is happening, Karen suggests. Um, is grieving over her long dead baby. It's now turned into dust, I think it was. Hmm. Oh, so you know the dead body they discovered earlier? It's now decayed and it's been, and it looks Skeleton. like, and it's now looks like it's been on the sand for 70 years. I mean, 70 years. 70 years? Is that sort of skeleton? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, now it looks like it's um, like looking at a dinosaur's bones almost. Well, yeah, think. bones. Just, there's no skin left. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so Karen tries to climb up the rocky cliffs, but when she gets almost to the top, she stops. She passes out. And passes out and falls a great distance. And guess what? She she's did. dead. Yeah, Karen is a little upset that she's um, dead. I think even for a short time, he started fe- having feelings for her, even though... Uh, they did have a baby together. True, true. Long relationship, half an hour he, or two. Yeah, he tried to coax her down 
before this happened, saying that they should stick together and try to find an alternative way of doing this. But I think that whatever was inside the rocks was probably kind of, um, if you know, it made her black out, I think, my theory. Whatever, yeah. Yeah, I think it, whenever you're in close contact with the rock I, or or, or, in, getting out. or trying to get out through yeah. the um, rocky cliffs, I think for some reason it's the rocks do add do. pressure to your mind, yeah. making you black out. It's never totally explained, but you, you never ask these questions in these little movies, do you? Yeah. No. Anyway, what's the little girl's um um what's the um the fa- the couple's daughter again name again? I forgot. Maddox. Maddox. She approaches her mother about her mum and her mum uh, that she that she and her dad are divorcing, and this upsets her. And she sh- she it's d- hard to rationalise this. Yeah, it's she, only a child. Yeah, l- yeah she's a little, she's eleven year old when she came to the island. And she grew up a little bit, but still eleven. Yeah, she then goes out into the water, and then we see um, what the remains of the, well, the dead man. nurse not, guy. Yeah, not, not the remains, the dead body. Okay, the dead body, and he's dead. He he had a heart attack or passed out trying to swim out. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Because everyone's aging, member. Yeah. Yes. He could have had, you know, could have developed a heart condition while he was going out there, or blacked out, mm. or or the, the mountains did it. We don't know. Mm, might be Ooh. both. Anyway, um, well, so the kids, both Matt, Mad Dick, and, and Maddox and, and Trent, notice um, in the hills, be, you know, be, beyond the, the cliffs, um, someone shooting them with a camera. Well, someone not shooting, uh, not photographing. shooting, filming them and photographing them. And they, they find out this, but they don't, they don't even tell the adults. They didn't really, I mean... If well, they, they told their adults, they, uh, would, they maybe they would have realized that the danger they were all in, and how, possibly. and they even s- suggest how all of them got there in the first place. And some of them said um, that they got this information on this website, or they got emails. I yeah. don't. And no, so, and yeah, and mail. and mm, their yeah. and how they were they were all had a a medical history about them. And they realized that they were, they were advertised. To possibly directly, because of their medical conditions. Yeah, meaning something sinister. Something wicked. This way comes. Yeah, <laughs> both the doctor and his wife start acting crazy or dementia-ish. Well, her, her, their brains are going. They're getting old. Yeah, yeah, and Guy and his wife. Uh, he gets um, his eyesight starts yeah, blurring. Yeah, he, he starts blurring because you know, he gets aged. He's getting old. He needs glasses, but. Yeah. You can't go an opt- optometrist on the beach. Yeah, no. and he, his wife, her yeah. hearing is bad in one ear. Yeah, it's starting to go, yeah. Yeah. So they, as, they, as they sort of tuck in for the night, it's getting dark, and at this time um, the kids try their absolute hardest to be there for the parents. And well, actually, by this time, there's only them left, isn't it? Yeah, well, getting closer to that yeah. point. And... Then the kids went go scouring sca- some stuff in the sand. They found some stuff like glasses and abandoned wallets, maybe some st- other stuff and that, they found that they they and some abandoned on. forks and spoons. Didn't they find that earlier? That book. Earlier? Yeah, they find a, a book and it said it had written had written there. Some guy had been writing some, all these details yeah, there about someone, names and yeah, yeah. somehow he written the names and the people's where they came from. Um, who all knows? This, all these missing people type things who yeah. have been coming to the island but not going home. Yeah. Aha. They get chased down by the um, mad, um, the um, not mad. I mean, um, the the um, the, mo- the model, the doctor's, um, you know, wife who chased them down. She's acting dementia, and she keeps yelling at them, saying um, not to look at her because she's starting to. Her well, skin's she, she had uh, some disease, a bone disease, and her bones were going really weird and horrible. Yeah. Yeah, and For, the skin was going bad. It's really ratty. Yeah. <laughs> and she eventually dies. Oh, yeah, the other lady who was married to the nurse, the yeah, male nurse, she had a, she she had a, a, had a clipson and fell down she and died. She had a epileptic fit and died. Yeah. But she was also really, really old by mm-hmm. then. It could have been up around 70 or something. Yeah, yeah, the doctor, he starts acting completely off his rocker yeah. and he starts attacking Guy and quickly his wife, his, um, Guy's wife, quickly grabs um, a, rusty, a knife. rusty knife and st- and slashes his wrist. And yeah, and thinking, oh, he, he would heal. He didn't heal because he got rust poisoning See, in his yeah. body and 
the rust poison killed him at an alarming rate. Yeah, and yeah. so him and his model wife, they're both dead. Yeah. And soon enough, the kids return back to the fire. They they try to make their parents comfortable as possible. They're the, their parents are the last remaining adults on the island with them. Yeah. And, he, of course, Guy says that he's sorry for being a nasty husband and says um, that he whatever they were arguing about in the past, he's forgiven her yeah, he for. He can't remember what it was. His brain was going to be tired. And he yeah. says he loves her, and then mm. just like that, he dies on the beach, and and she dies after him. About a few minutes later, or something. Goes, yeah, well, they're aging rapidly. They could have been. Yeah. 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 By the next yeah. morning, reasonable, reasonable. Both Trent and his sister, they look like they're the ages of their parents now. They're about in their forties to fifties. Yeah, they they still have bent on trying to lead the island, and they then make plant. They then sit down for a minute to build a sandcastle together. And that, hence, probably the theme of the. Uh, Mm. It was mentioned book. in the book that at the end, the person at the end was building a sandcastle, waiting for death to take him. And that was the end him. of the movie, but it ended, I mean, end the story in the book, and but the movie extended yeah. the pad. Yeah. Then he, the boy um, remembers his friend leaving him a note that's written in code, and he, he because it. both the boys were giving each other, you know, something secret, t- messages. secret messages, and he was able to decipher it, and it's which says, "My uncle says, do stay away from the coral." Which means, uh, which means that's the way out yeah, of, the, way of out. the um. The coral beach. reef just there. You can see it's, 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 it breaches the surface of the water and it goes down to the bottom. Obviously, but yeah. there must be a way through. Uh-huh. So both of the ki- the um kids, or I should say adults now that they're no longer kids Whoa. anymore, considering. I've never seen a six-year-old shave before. <laughs> yeah, so they had off to the coral, and they nearly get stuck halfway because one of the... Maddox's clothes get caught on the coral. Yeah, but eventually um, he was able to break it through. But while this is happening, the... Guy on the uh, hill. The guy on the hill th- assumes that they're both drowned. Because they're under the water too long. But he didn't, un- he didn't know they were came up to an air pocket and got some extra air. Yeah. yeah. While this is happening, he tells his boss that all the... Uh, test subjects were ki- are dead. And they monitored so, them. And he heads back to the hotel, and the hotel manager gives them a, um, a final silence for the dearly departed. Or Yeah, a moment of silence for the, the poor, our poor mm. test subjects. Now, great, now, now all the good news. Yeah, we, we've had a, a success yeah, today. Yeah, he yeah. had said one of the s- test subjects responded well to the medication they for gave epilepsy. her. epilepsy. Yeah. Because, so technically speaking, she should have had multiple epileptic fits whilst at the beach but because he had this chemical inside her she didn't have one for the equivalent of about 30 years which would indicate a positive test result yeah. using that chemical yeah there you got it oh, yeah very see the resort yeah, itself involved. is a cover for um a um a case drug trial yeah. um medic you know medical business of sorts yeah. and there and they're testing it on people who are don't, unaware of it. Yeah, sick people. And they yeah. put it inside their drinks. Yeah, they give them a complimentary drink when they first get there. Yeah, this drink is, um, I guess, uh, hopefully it's yeah. the, the drugs itself do, are not noticed well, by the person. Them, no. So they yeah, can't taste yeah, yeah, yeah. them. I like, and we also noticed there um, a, sub, a bit of the rock, possibly the same rock from, that came from the very cliff, which indicates maybe this rock was probably... Part of was not created by them. It was probably always part of the, um, it was part of the beach, island. meaning mm. it may have been part of a local legend that these the the people in the at the island are aware of about. And somehow these scientists got wind of this rock, special rock, and think, hmm, what should we? How should we use this special rock for to our advantage? I know we'll test um, sub. You know, drugs um, trial. Se- you know, subjects to test new drugs. That way, we will find we out do, in thirty do, or forty years if they can live through yeah, those trials. Yeah, well, yeah, the equivalent of thirty or forty years test can be done in one day. Which yeah, is it's, uh, groovy, instead hey, of a lifetime. A lot of time, yeah. Instead of wait yeah. until, um, say, the thirty or forty year mark would indicate if they live that you long. You make money fast this way. Faster test results. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So while this is happening. Both Trent and his sister, they arri- finally ar- 
arrive and survive going for the crawl and they approached the policeman I mentioned earlier and hand him the book and he in turn um, contacts his officials about this. This is this is why I think all these missing people. Yeah, uh-huh. I think that he was there for, and I I, otherwise he would not believe them that they were um, test subjects. Oh, on he a, did it. Hmm. He did it. He checked out a couple of the names and found out they were missing people. Yeah, and then he sent through all the other information. Shh. If you were paying attention. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, new test subjects start arriving at the resort and the compliment um, cocktails are handed to them. But luckily, Trent knocks the, b- the tray over. And he so says, I suggest you don't drink anything I give you. It's yeah, and it. he tells the owner, we are both the kids that were left no, yeah, for... We're Trent and Maddox. Yeah, you killed our parents. Well, pretty much, yeah. Oops. They got out. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we get a, a flashback to how these how kids got, got survived. Yeah. And... Now these guys, are, the um, doctors and the owner, are now busted for legal yeah, it, it, drug it, trials. Yeah, the police are coming in there and uh, yeah, they're going to doing surround. whatever the police do in these yeah. cases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, our little kid, the little kid that befriended Trent before the um, incident, he approaches the um, Trent and he's a little surprised, amazed that he's he's grown a lot he was told by his uncle the owner that he mo- he and his family well, left the island yeah, left the island. and can't play the other kiddies <laughs> who were healthy or stuff healthy ones bullshit. yeah they weren't <laughs> nothing happened to them oh yeah I wouldn't be surprised no no and not everyone was sick there no no I think they just selected ones they manipulated yeah, yeah, I think yeah, the whole yeah. point of this uh, this resort is that they send in a mixture of different people yeah. this information and the lucky ones who just happen to have um Special yeah. diagnosis but they, but they of, ones. of yeah. sicknesses. Yeah. They're selected and placed on the island. Yeah, along with all I mean, the normal, island, the well, beach. For, for, yeah, we have all the normal people there. Normal people have a good time. It's a good cover. Yeah, it is a good cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, now these doctors are busted and they're going to be looking at serious jail time. I don't know Probably. how many years. Yes, but, but then again, they've been killing innocent people. Yeah, exactly. I, I think the courts would not go. Lightly. No, mm. they probably would not give them, spare them after what they've put those poor people to suffer. Soon enough, yeah. Trent and his sister, they're on a helicopter heading off to the mainland, hopefully, and they're told by the policeman that they contacted them, their, the next of kin, their aunt, and of course, um, he, he, Trent says... Um, how else will you explain you, you, to your aunt that you're now, say, 50 years, 50 old. years old? And you're supposed to be five, six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're left to suspect that they yeah. are left to an, un, an unknown future yeah, ahead of them right. because now they're facing 50 instead of being 7 and 11. no work experience. Who's going to hire them? Good point. Uh-huh. They have like three years left to live instead of... What do you mean three years left to live? I mean, not three years, 30 years to live. <laughs> or 40. Or, or 30 or 40, just depending on... Um, well, they haven't got a job, haven't, haven't got an education. Yeah. yeah. And, and hmm. they'll be left... They're, they're, they'll be un, undeveloped minds. However, they could be about. paid money by the government for studies. Good point. Uh-huh. There is a big chance that maybe they'll and sue the company. In another comfort, laboratory. That there <laughs> might be a big chance that the families of the dead party people, the families that were that were test subjects, would be fa- given, um, you know, be suing them for, and possibly get, getting a lot of well, money yeah, from they them. Yeah, they could be sued. They could sue the, the pharmaceutical company or whatever. Yeah, or the, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, in turn, yeah. these people would be facing serious jail time for or the pain anyway, and suffering they anyway, seriously got. Let's get on, let's finish that. I gotta admit though, when I looked at this movie at the first, I thought it was a supernatural movie, like they were just these people were dumped there and unaware that this island. A bit was like Fancy be- Island had that thing in the middle of the island controlled everything, you know, but nah, not, not no. nothing like it. But as it turns out, mm. it's um it's much more sinister where the the a bit more like happened r- in the woods. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it as it turns out in this behind the scenes controlling everything. Yeah, yeah, it turns out the resort had control over the the these people and and they were doing t- um li- illegal test tra- exactly. drug, drug trials exactly right. without well, them you knowing it, then? you know. It's kind of horrible when you think about it. Yeah, anyway. Go on. All right. Um the theme about this movie uh, story whatever 
it's it's partly uh, it's complicated, but it is complicated. Like, uh, it, it, uh, coming to terms with the fact of how much time we have and how we use it. Yeah, exactly. In our lives, in our relationships, yeah. and whatever, and our our perception of time. Yeah. And, and wait a minute, and its effect on us and relationships. But um, it also, uh, Mr. Sh- uh, Malin, oh good, Mr. Night Guy, uh, the guy who wrote it. Uh, <laughs> His father suffers from dementia, and he's obviously going through his own personal problems with watching his father grow old and uh, lose his faculties. So, yeah. That's a great um, Yeah. And obviously, he did this through the coronavirus, and a lot of people were worried about their mortality and illnesses and uh, yeah. and they, things they could do. Things are closing down. Business, business were closing down. You couldn't do this, couldn't do that. It's a time factor thing. What? How do I fill my time? How do I, how do I reconcile time? Um what have I got left? Um, mm. Yeah, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm. This movie, um, I remember at the opening, well, not at the opening, I mean, when they got at, through the coral, when they could finally escaped the um, the cliffs, I did notice in the water living fish swimming around, which indicates yeah. that they probably they got, got... They got out. They got out, yeah, meaning yeah. that they were able, they were free from that part of the beach, hmm. meaning they could, they uh, will probably won't age anymore, meaning that they'll yeah, stay the, the that age. Yeah, the age stopped. And that's what I, I said to you before we actually just started the podcast. Will they actually stop at 50 for the next 50 or 40 years until they catch up? Or will they just start growing old naturally from 50 and they got 30 years left or something? Yeah. Don't I th- know. I think that hmm. the rick, the rocks they were on the beach, I think that pretty much was for, um, forcing them to age. But yeah. I don't. But now that they're away from this... I, this beach, yeah, they're, 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 they probably will stay the normal to that age. Aging things like the, the things wearing out, mm. cancer sneaking in, so those things possibly wouldn't be there. So they could live to a hundred years old quite easily. Mm-hmm. Mm. Interesting. I like to think you that. Know. I like to think in the what do they call it? the the epilogue or the no no not Epi- the epilogues of the yeah. End. I think that I like to think that the pharmaceutical company they does they get sued and they have the astrid out of them yeah. and whatever money Sued that's made end. at this the pharmaceutical company they they would uh, have to hand over all that money and be arrested well, for yeah, yeah, yeah. for these legal trials now, here's, here's something. production a bit of I've got some notes here um I, I might have mentioned it earlier on that the uh, Mr uh, Shame Allen whatever <laughs> Uh, it was uh, accepted. His story was accepted by Universal Studios because they nice like they're doing wonderful things out there mm. uh, in many studios. But these guys, Universals, don't mind looking at original film ideas. That's a relief. Which is good to have have someone who really can see that you can't keep churning out the same. Let's do another Jason Voorhees type movie, yeah. or something else, or yeah. another superhero movie, yeah, which is beginning yeah, let's to do get dull. Different, and someone has to take that quite quantum leap, if you will, and start doing. Hey, let's try yeah. something new and yeah, original. Considering, yeah. guys, as I said before, when Jason, yeah, bought, I mean, when the Friday the Thirteenth series started it was started off as an independent film project yeah, it and when it started raking in audience members and and, lots and box of money. office um, <laughs> success um, then the studios the big studio heads decided to um, take part in it yeah, years and later it, and it just got bigger a lot like George, George Lucas and um, Star Wars mm-hmm. uh, he, he went he makes a couple of movies before he had sex something rather and yeah and whatever uh, American Graffiti American Graffiti well, American Free was a hard one. He had, Francis Ford Coppola came on board. If he didn't, it wouldn't have ever been made. And all of a sudden, he got into he got that next level, and he got into he uh, mm. got a chance to make the first the episode of Star Wars, and mm. the rest of its history. You know. Yeah, I got to yeah. admit though, if, would they make yeah. a sequel out of this one? And if so, um, would it inc- would it um, be like um, the pharmaceutical company would been closed down, and yet the uh, the beach itself remains to be um, yes, a very so dangerous and, area. And some travellers get trapped there and they all die. Yeah. yeah, like if they even if they tried to make it out by boat, would they survive? Is a big question. Yeah. Considering so. the only way out is is I guess through the coral. I don't even know why it they can't swim just swim around. Uh, the other, the other way that the the um, nurse did, maybe it was because he was swimming around that and, w- in and opposite he, direction. He might have had. Uh, he, he wasn't going through the corals, going the other way, which could have been that 
he had the same boundary by the rocks and he just died. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it just knocked him out and he just drowned. Yeah, and considering mm, yeah. these people, like I know he, some of these people, they don't, um, the older adults, they don't, you don't see them age so much. You don't, I don't think, they might, you might see a bit of, a small bits of wrinkles, but I, I can't really yeah, tell. Yeah, they didn't overdo the wrinkles because obviously, okay, I'll explain All something. Grey hair or, no, 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 or you're missing something go here. On. Um, grey hair would normally come when you're using pigment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Maybe, but maybe wasn't going, the, the pigment wasn't bleach, leaching out of the hair as fast because they weren't really old, mm. um, and the wrinkles usually get formed due to lack of elasticity and stretching of the skin. Mm -hmm. And what happens is they're not really doing that, so the skin texture might be getting old and, and um, lacking uh, lacking that youth, uh, youthful feeling and touch to it. It gets a little bit more. Uh, grainy and losing lo losing tone and stuff and that sort of stuff yeah it wouldn't necessarily look like a mummy walking around mm, i yeah, know yeah. I w it just yeah. would have been cool if they mm, if yeah. they at least showed a few uh gray hairs yeah. indicating that they're slightly hey, aging yeah, you think so with the gray hair around your yeah you know, right, right, right around the hair on a dark guy yeah uh, the, the dark um Latino type guy. Yeah, uh, like the... Name? What's his name again? Uh, the father. Yeah. 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 Guy. Yeah. And, and Rufus. Yeah, we, yeah Rufus. Been, he was already, he was already gray, already. gray already. Yeah, but, but he was already gray, but he didn't get, get, didn't get any grayer. I got to admit, it was kind of... bald either. It would have been kind of scary if if, if 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 going by his um the his um his weird um delusional behavior... Well, schizophrenic. Schizophrenia yeah, behavior. It, yeah. Would he have been in danger to himself if he wasn't on the island, you know, when he got older. Yeah, but you have yeah. to, his, his, his dementia onset was tracking at an incredibly fast rate. Mm -hmm. It was going downhill really quickly. He went from, okay, a bit of a schizophrenia to really bad over a few hours. Yeah, because yeah, 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 he yeah. started acting very violent, like a violent version yeah. of schizophrenia, well, which could indicate if he was, if he was violent out in the real world and he was, say, he's, the age that his schizophrenia yeah. would have gone that far, he would probably be looking at being in a mental institute. By the time he really time. got that age, yeah. 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 Now, yeah. Okay, here we go. A bit of information. Uh, there was a little bit of filming locations, but the main beach area was filmed at a place called uh, the Playa El Valley Beach, located between two mountains off the north coast of Santa Barbara de Samana. Mm, sounds so nice. That's obviously in the Dominican Republic, wherever where it is. Yeah. Yep. Um, mm. Additional filming took place at Pinewood Dominican Republic Studios in Juan Dolio mm. uh, and in several locations around Samana. Mm. So, yeah, it was all location shooting over there. Oh, look at this, guy, yeah. Mike. Mm. Um, did you know that um, the director, um, his daughter, um, worked in as a second unit director on the film? Yes. Kind of cool, don't you think? Um, well, working as a, uh, a family team, whatever. Well, second year, he did obviously things where he couldn't be in two places at once. No mm. one's that good. I know, but it's kind of nice. I mean, just like when we were reviewing the the, the Titanic um, two movie, where I mean, where it had um, not only one um, Van Dyke um, character person who working on it, but he had his brother helping yeah. him on it. But you can get his first and second year camera. You can hang so even when you were doing your movie recently, a couple of years ago, you had two cameras at the one scene, camera A and camera B, working two different perspectives at the same time yeah. on the same shoot. Yeah, I got yeah, to so admit... So you can do that as yeah. well as have a second and third unit. Yeah, I got yeah. to admit, guys, the camera mm. work they did on this movie was, was pretty bad. impressive, especially oh, keep, keeping you... Uh, in, in keeping you guessing what's going to happen next, especially with the aging of the kids, like you, you, they they kept them a little bit out of focus and over their shoulders and a little bit out of, little bit out of frame, so you couldn't actually see the ravage of the time taking that toll on the children. Yeah, instead here, of yeah. the usual CGI morphing mm. it, their features, they just use several kids. Yeah, mm. and yeah. adult. I mean, two adults. So a couple, so. several kids, and then the adults. Yeah, yeah. They had the, the six-year-old and the eleven-year-old. And a 16-year-old. 16-year-old, then an adult. Yeah, but they had three kids involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was... And they look similar. Yeah. Good, yeah. i got to admit, it's kind of sad that both the two kids in the end are now 
fully fledged older adults and they never they are going to be living an undeveloped lifestyle you know yeah. now they're probably living with their aunt and i don't know if too many people will believe them <laughs> that they're seven and eleventh would you agree mike yeah because that's going to prove a really difficult development yeah. even unless it goes they mm. they eventually go take this to the press and w- and eventually people will believe them that they're really seven well, and, yeah, and have six done. Bring your prints, dental records, the parents, well, yeah, they'd do things, yeah, there'd be a way to find out. Yeah. And one thing I say, now, the, the director, producer, director, writer, whatever, he, um, how, he was described by his daughter as, um, what's the word, I don't know why I said this, a very prescribed and pragmatic approach to his filmmaking. Well, we're not quite sure what she's trying to get at. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he had such precision in terms of what he, at what age he had wanted you to be and where he wanted to be at that age and different things. He had all in his head and he had every shot um, storyboarded and everything. And when night happened, you know, nighttime shoots, he, he let things go and let people's own emotions that c- come into play. Mm, nice. And they played it, wouldn't say ab libby, but they you know, brought their own emotion into the filming. Um, that's nice. Yeah, of course, they said, you know, they said, well, you're here and... It became a more natural way of acting instead of, uh, okay, I want you to say these words and sit over there. Well, they just did it how it was and it just rolled out naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it does explain mm. why at night um, the adults, as they are slowly, you know, olding, olding oh, aging, and aging and yeah, that sitting down there next to the fire. And, and that... Nothing a lot was happening, but it was very deep but, and meaningful talking. Yeah, meaning that they're yeah. at the point probably... Um, yeah. Going by, depending on whether it was minutes or hours, oh, I'm not been, sure. Or maybe wouldn't, wouldn't have been hours. Or maybe not <laughs> hours. Maybe it was minutes each yeah. minute or each five minutes or ten minutes yeah. was um, one year taken away from yeah, them. Well, it be done one year, but they were raging rapidly. Yeah. And, and the health, health declined and quickly. And so yeah. by yeah. the time it got close to night time, they would have been roughly either 70 or yeah, 80. Yeah, 70, 80, 90 years old. And then, and then their body system was starting to close down, both of them. Yes. Mumsy and Dadsy. Yeah. It was kind of sad. And I kind of thought it was kind of nice that, uh, while some people who, who divorce when at such a, at, before they got, get older, it's nice that those two in the movie, they, they, di- they were old people for one day. And it was like they were living a lifetime, you know, together in this very, in this very scene, indicating they just, did what most people these days don't do anymore, you know, live, grow old together. Yeah. Like what people often say about, mm. you know, grow old and live together and 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 feel like they just achieved the, their, their lives together and yeah. all that stuff. The, the oh. things that people don't do anymore that they keep thinking... Let's um, have another divorce. Yeah, 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 yeah let's yeah, divorce yeah. and I'll move on to another person and you can move on with someone yeah, else. Yeah, do whatever you like. Yeah. Instead yeah, of the yeah, whole... Yeah. Um, no commitment. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I miss yeah. most mm. in this sort of thing. In this movie, it just feels like these people just achieve something that not many people do these days anymore. They stay together until they die. Yes. I think Sorry. it's romantic. It's, I mean, I always like the idea that... T- I like it when two people that love each other so much, they they d- sort of die together. It's kind of nice. Yeah, Instead of being apart from one another, they're, they're going to heaven together. Or wherever they're going. Yeah. We're not getting into a religious debate here. I know, but it not feels... not doing theolo- theological but studies. But they're going so to a better place is what I'm referring yeah, to, or guys. Or going somewhere. Otherwise, one of the people complaining about we're doing religion, okay? But it's a nice thing, you know. They, they're both okay. going to, instead of waiting for another hour or two, even if it's not yeah. an hour or two, it's, um, for other people out there, it'll be a yeah. year or two. But in this scene, it's kind of romantic and nice. It was nice. All right, go we on. We like to think they went to heaven anyway, because that's what we believe. But we don't expect you guys necessarily to believe that. Yeah, so... Uh-huh. Now, w- so I'm what not going to go on all the reviewers, because... Just give us a, a handful. I'll give you an overview a bit more, because as usual, mm. with get- movies that we have been reviewing over the past couple of years, the reviewers say, we don't like it, or we like it, and the box office says something totally different. You know? Yeah, like... Now, w- now, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Getting back to what box office did. It, made, it was made for $18 million, made $90 million. Mm-hmm. That doesn't include... Home, uh, home media sales or whatever. Okay. 
you had a mixture of reception guys saying, oh, it wasn't a bad movie, you'll either like it or hate it. Or it wasn't too bad, the cinematography is good, but I didn't like the dialogue, was pretty, it was pretty average, blah, 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 all the way through it. But then, then another reviewer would say the exact opposite. Um, honestly, I'm getting sick of reviewers because I don't think they really know. It's just personal yeah. taste mm. and they don't really care. Yeah. They say, I'm getting paid to say something. And if you've got a nasty type column that you write for and it's troll-like, you're never going to say anything redeeming about any movie. Yeah. Unless you really, really want to like it a lot. And then you still find something wrong with it. Yeah, know. I mean, the one thing I did yeah. like about it was the fact the the kids who were spo- as they grew older, they still had had kid um, behavior or not behavior, just kid thoughts. Well, yeah, the, all the same sort of mentality. You know, naive, young. You know, they hadn't hadn't got that adult. Yeah, their thinking th- cap on. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. They the brain was processing things a bit better, um, but. But at the end of the day, yeah, they're still thinking like mature children. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Mm-hmm. eBay, plenty available. Amazon, plenty available. I didn't see anything there about renting it, though. There might be hidden in there. I didn't see it. So if you look around, so if you get it on eBay and Amazon, it should be available other places as well. Um, look, it's a good movie. Mm. I mean... It's not a slasher movie. It's not an action movie. It's more of a, dr- a thriller drama. They can be a bit slower paced for some people. Still doesn't, just because it's slower doesn't mean it's a bad movie. It just means it's a different type of movie. So, yeah, I think it's a good watch. Yeah, uh, I think it's worthwhile watching. I like the good basic storyline. It's not a great storyline, like, because it doesn't need to be a great storyline. It's about some average people stuck together in an improbable situation. Yeah. That's it. And what are you going to do? You can't reinvent the wheel and say, let's make it really intense. Why? You don't, you've made it too complicated, you're overthinking it. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was already in, I mean, intense. I mean, considering... Well, it, it was intense enough. How would you put, you put yourself in there, how would you handle it? Good point. I'd probably freak And you out. handled it pretty much the same way they did. Mm-hmm. So the guy who wrote it, Mr. Sam uh, Allen, whatever, uh, he wrote it the way he probably would have put himself in those roles. Yeah, and he yeah. put himself... Um, he put his own how he felt when he he's yeah. found out his dad had dementia. No, I'm mean, talking uh, dialogue of all uh, the people. Yeah. And the attitude. How would you respond? Would you go off your tits? Would you panic and run around every decrease in circles and disappear up your own bum? No, you would behave in a particular manner. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay. I don't know what's going on here. Someone just died. Things aren't happening. I don't understand. It's partly shock it sets in, and you're not going to respond in an overwhelming way, or you're going to go right off your face like the blonde girl did, and she'd run away when her daughter's having a baby, then she went really weird in the cave, and the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. I, I but still... But other people are going to be yeah. stunned, like stunned mullets. Yeah, I know? still question yeah. him who may have dragged the, the, the think, adults I, back out no, of the tunnel. No, I don't tunnel. think they were dragged out. I get the impression they were somehow or other, they go in the tunnel there, they try to get out, they black out and they wake up on the, the beach. beach. Yes. Now, I don't know whether they stagger out or somehow rather the uh, the force of whatever happened in there blows them out mm. and they stand on the sand. Yeah. Don't know what's happening. It was never done. To, yeah. It, it's, yeah. It's, it's left open for your own interpretation. Yeah, it was always yeah. cut to, to them going in. The next minute we get a uh, bit of shaky, weird noises, and then the next minute we cut to black and we f- we find them back on the beach again, yeah. which they're near the surf, you know, near the water. But, yeah, near, yeah, the, near the opening of the cutting in the rock. So yeah, mm. we don't know how they got back there, whether they were blown out for or some whether, sort of force. Or don't whether know. any of the other survivors pulled them out. Well, no. They which didn't. I don't they think didn't. that would make they, sense. They would have they they had the same problem, yeah. So don't know, don't care. It's, 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 it, that's just something for your brain to come to terms with. But yeah, look, honestly, I think it's a damn good movie. No, it's not an action movie. It's a drama. It's a thriller, you know. I thought it's it was pretty they're cool. They're going to move a bit slower. It's for your brain to think about things, not for the cinematographer to show you everything. Yeah, you know? I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I like that um, Twilight Zone, you know, feel to this ah, movie, where it, it left it um, up trying to give the audience... Tr- um, 
Having uh, said that, keep uh, the audience wondering what house is happening, what's going on, uh, who, who's doing this you stuff. You mentioned Twilight Zone. Yes. Old was inspired by films curated during Australian New Wave, whatever that is, including Walkabout, 1971. I know that. Picnic right. at Hanging Rock, it's 1975, along with the examin, uh, Examinating Angel in 1962. No, I don't know that one. Uh, Curran Echo. 1968, mm. Jaws, and, drumroll, The yeah. Twilight Zone. Cool. You just had it yourself. Well, so, yeah, there is something about it. I it's mean, got a feeling It to has it. a feeling yeah. like like these people are, uh, you know, uh, being dragged into a world they can't don't understand. Yeah, and they can't control it. And it's a world that, that's beyond your imagination, just like the the introduction in the, in the Twilight Zone TV series where they say, we enter a world that is far beyond your imagination and stuff you will be dreading and and things you can't work out why this is happening to this these sets of people and then way to the end we find we get the twist and then we feel like oh my gosh i yeah, never would have seen that. i would never seen that coming exactly it's yeah. all about the outer limits you know the outer limits had the same thing back yeah. in the old days yeah. it reminds me of the yeah. story about some people who were inside a special um some kind of tube and they all dress fun, looking funny, and and then they try to get out of the box that they're inside. Yeah, it, was, and it looks like a, a square room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they all try to climb up and try to figure out why they're there because they have no memory of being and how they got there. Yeah, well, yeah only they know is that they're um, so they're a weird cast of characters. Or one was a pilot, one was a clown, one, one was, was a, a ballerina. ballerina. And one was a soldier. Yeah, and yeah. when they, he does finally climb out, we realise that these people, these unknown individuals that don't know who they are, turn out to be dolls. Dolls, toys, like Barbies and yeah, and G.I. Joes and stuff, yeah. And yeah, they're actually toys in a box. Uh, and donations and they're throwing toys in there for Christmas. Yeah. Interesting, hey? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. interesting. I mean, these types of stories where you... Where, where a bunch of people are thrown into into the same environment and they and they don't know why or they've been selected or why they just happen to yeah. be the unlucky ones. You just ones. wake up there and, ah, uh, this is the first day of the rest of your life sort of thing. Yeah. No previous history. Aha, uh-huh, yeah. Only in this case, they do, they do have a history and they work out right away that they're all connected because they have a... Um, um, either a mental or or not a mental um a pri- medical history about Whatever. them okay. that yeah. and that's why they were Are there. We grade this now. It's getting old now. Yeah, let's forget. Let's grade this now. Uh, you, uh, excuse me. I'm yawning. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> I don't sleep well. Uh, now, uh, gee, I'll give it nine or nine and a half. I'm, I can't find anything majorly wrong with this movie. Me neither. I like the shots. I like the locations. Mm. The acting is down key because that's the style of movie it is. So I can I think the mm. acting style mm. the script, the yeah, screenplay, mm. direction, everything suited the type of movie it is. Mm. They could I don't think it should have I don't think anyone should comment and say it should be done differently because I think you'd lose the feeling of it. So I'm gonna give it nine and a half. Yeah, I'm going to give it nine and a half too, guys, because I don't find any fault in this movie. It may, it's when I heard about it, 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 I didn't feel like it would be my cup of tea, but it was pretty interesting, and I liked the suspenseful, thrill, feeling, thriller type scenes in this. You see, thrillers and mysteries and stuff are they get you in. Look, remember, look, most a lot, a lot of you, even young guys, look, look at Alfred Hitchcock. He was always called the master of suspense. What he would do if he was directing would be to make you sit on the end of your seat, waiting for the next scene to see what's happening, what's going to happen next. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you didn't would dare go to the toilet or put the kettle on or anything because you didn't want to miss anything. Yeah. And that's what he did in his filmmaking style. Yeah. Yeah, so mystery and suspense and that sort of stuff, it's really good. And this here, you're sitting here, watch this, say, okay, what's happening now? Okay, oh, that's strange. Oh, didn't I see that happening? What else going to happen next? 
and that's yeah. what he get, that's what a good suspenseful thriller is. Yeah, yeah, it was a worthwhile watch, guys. Um, mm. I may not watch it again, you know, but in I do. In the near future, but I will yeah. in the near future, you know, again, maybe. Yeah. Re- to. Do a, a revisit. Yeah. A revisit. I mean, this is the type of movie you may not want to watch it all the time because it's always good to watch um, a certain num- a certain movie at once in your lifetime to at least give it that that power over you. When you were a child, you used to watch some movies over and over and over and over. And I can Milo and Otis was one of them. <laughs> Uh, and which one? Which one? The Star Wars one with the, uh, the uh, Return of the Jedi. Yeah, Return of the Jedi. Is that one? The, the Ewoks. Yeah. 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 Return of the Jedi. Uh, that was her favourite movie too. And hey, I like the. Te- what, they what, like the wait Ewoks. Wait Give me your credit. What was the other one? The other one you watched. Uh, mm, I think I remember mm, now. It's a long time ago. Mm. And you watch it. Oh, Greece! You and your sister. You're Greece crazy. Back then. Back in those days, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you were kids. And you, oh, and you, uh, what's on Grace again? Oh, hey, Lord. I was little. Uh, I yeah, but uh, but you had your favourite movies, and now you get you're more discerning. Oh, what's that one? I'll relegate that to the archives, and I might come back and visit next year or the year after. We, yeah. uh, and being fair, we do have thousands of movies here. We can't yeah. watch them all the time. It's just yeah. that when yeah. you get older, and when something new comes out, you begin to wonder whether or not it's worth, um, you know, worth you know you know, loving for forever yeah. or just um, taking your time to watch it but yeah. not expect yeah. to watch it every but so it, often. It's be safely stored in our archive for yeah. the next for a future generation yeah. to so do a it's, podcast. So it's on. up here in the uh, mind palace as I speak. The mind palace. <laughs> it's like, it's a Sherlock gonna, Holmes reference. I'm going to say, in your case, it's like um, a maze. <laughs> uh, but that's where it is. It's up here in the inside my mind, my mind palace, my mind palace <laughs> ready to be ever would uh, would re- be reviewed again in the next say a few years. Well, yeah, well, the next generation mm-hmm. when our grandkids grow up, you know, you know, when, well, my grandkids, her her niece, and nephew, they can take over the mantle and start doing podcasts. Well, I like to hope one day they do. <laughs> Fingers crossed. They may even know how other ways of making a good podcast. Well, maybe do this way: of microphones and mixing this. I'll probably go straight to the computer or something. But yeah, I find old school stuff works a bit better. Mm, yeah. yeah, different people out there would say differently. Yeah, obviously, I've got, I got nicely. Yeah, I got a little eight-channel stereo mixer here plugged into my computer, and I've got the, the computer screen next to me. I can see all the squiggly lines, and I can monitor the VU. Uh, I've got two microphones here, one for Sarah and myself. It's all nice and neat and tidy. I've got control over it. Yeah. Ah. So, anyway, I really enjoyed this movie, guys. And um, did you say it was um, d- or on DVD or oh, so on sorry. A- uh, Amazon? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, eBay, yeah, no, I did. Yeah, eBay and Amazon, both plenty to buy. I don't think I didn't see anything about Amazon having uh, rentals, but mm. there might be. I, I didn't. I, the first page or two, I didn't notice anything, so, but it might be in there. Mm. But hey, yeah, come on, um, get, go on, go on uh, YouTube, have a look at the trailer. If you like it, go and buy a copy. There you yeah. go. Mm. Yeah, I say it's worth a watch, guys. Yeah. I mean, it's um, very, it's very interesting. It's good. Yeah, it is good. And by the way, um, try something new. Ex- extend yourself onto something different. How's that? Quite right. Mm. So, anyway, thanks for listening to our last podcast, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed it as per usual. And I like it. I think I did. And mm. I will. Um, this is Sarah Stevenson. And Marl. Saying <laughs> we'll see you guys for our next podcast. Bye. Bye, Bye for guys. now. Bye, guys.